The Alashan League is located at the western end of the Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region, where desert and desert-like grassland accounts for 90% of the land area. Liu Ying tells us how local herdsmen struggle to adapt to worsening conditions and are trying to adopt a more ecologically friendly way of life. <laughs> Every morning, Narin Batu takes his herd out to graze. He raises more than 400 sheep and goats on 800 hectares of land. Severe drought has lasted years. Desertification deteriorates his grass, which becomes increasingly sparse. The sheep have to travel much longer distance in order to find enough to eat. And to make things even worse, a different type of grass is growing due to the lack of rain. The new grass is lethal to the sheep. If the drought continues, I'll have to sell all my sheep. Sheep will feel ill after eating the grass and cannot be sold at good prices. I've sold about 150 sheep so far this year and earned less than 20,000 yuan. It's the worst year I've ever had. Na Renbatu says he still remembers the days in 1970s when there was plenty of rain and grass thrived and reached its knees. But the drought is not likely to end soon. Na Renbatu has to plan for the future. If possible, I'd like to migrate to the towns. If things remain like this, we will not be able to sustain a living. Without rain, there's no future for grazing anymore. Narin Batu says he hopes to work in the county to support his four-member family, though that means leaving the pasture, which has been a way of life for generations. Departing from Narin Batu's pasture, we headed for another herdsman's home, about 100 kilometers away. Fifty-year-old Guo Xinjun was born in Alashan. His father migrated there from neighboring Gansu province in the 1950s. The family used to live by raising sheep and camels, but that is not the case anymore. Guo now makes a living mainly by growing and selling chistanshi, a Chinese herbal medicine in desert. In the past, chistanshi were all wild, so I wondered if I could grow it, I could earn more than grazing. I succeeded in 1998, and my growing area expanded over the years. This year, by a conservative estimate, I can earn 50,000 yuan in profit. Chistanshi grows parasitic to saxos, which are considered a vital scent-fixing plant in desert. The growing of chistanshi has helped improve the awareness of local people to protect saxos. In the past, saxos were only seen as the food of camels. But now herdsmen realize saxos are important for protecting the environment. And if saxos thrive, so does chistanshi. That means more income for us. Protecting saxos also means reducing the use of them as firewood on the pasture. With the support by the environmental NGO SEE, many herdsmen like Guo Xinjun now switch to renewable energy, like wind and solar power. Guo Xinjun is applying with SEE for new project to use sheep manure and other renewables as geothermal resources for heating in the winter. <laughs> This project is of great significance in terms of ecological protection. A great deal of firewood is needed in the winter for heating purposes. By using a geothermal system, we estimate we can use half as much as Saxo firewood. By raising chickens and growing chistanshi, Guo Xinjun is leading a life quite different than before. But he believes change is necessary if it leads to a better living environment. Shamanism, which asserts man's fear of nature, is the origin of spiritual beliefs of the people of Inner Mongolia. It has been this way for generations. Excessive use of resources from nature taught people here a lesson. Local herdsmen are beginning to rethink about their relationship with the grassland. For them, our harmonious coexistence with nature is the basis for achieving sustainable lives. Liu Ying, CCTV, Alashan League, Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region.